Just four days now until Election Day, the road to the White House, leading both former President Trump and Vice President Harris to crucial states in the West as they continue to court key constituencies. Yeah, they're making the final push today. They're tearing through multiple battleground states from the Midwest to the South in their final sprint to Election Day. And as we count down to Tuesday, the candidates are feeling the heat and the knives are coming out. Overnight, Donald Trump speaking alongside Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Despite his support for conspiracy theories around vaccines, Trump pledged to nominate him to oversee public health agencies, including vaccines and women's health. The independent candidate dropped his presidential bid and endorsed Trump. He could do anything he wants. He wants to look at the vaccines. He wants everything. And he's going to work on health and women's health and all of the different reasons. Kamala Harris firing back online, writing simply, no. Trump campaigning out west, doubling down on his harsh rhetoric alongside ousted Fox News host, Tucker Carlson. We do have an enemy from within. We have some very bad people, and those people are also very dangerous. The former president even suggesting former House Republican leader Liz Cheney, who has endorsed Kamala Harris, be put in the line of fire. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained in her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington. Vice President Kamala Harris was in Battleground, Nevada, making a big push for the state's Latino voters with some big names. I believe in the power of Latinos. Harris leaning on superstar Jennifer Lopez to get out the vote. Lopez firing up the crowd, bringing up those racist remarks at Trump's rally at MSG. It wasn't just Puerto Ricans that were offended that day, okay? It was every Latino in this country. It was humanity and anyone of decent character. I am Puerto Rican, soy Boricua carajo, and yes, I was born here. Harris is also counting on women voters to drive her across the finish line, seizing on Trump's comments, promising to protect women, quote, whether the women like it or not. I want to protect the women of our country. They said. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. Harris firing back, calling it offensive. This is the same man who said women should be punished for their choices. He simply does not respect the freedom of women or the intelligence of women to know what's in their own best interest and make decisions accordingly. But we trust women. We trust women. Vice President Harris also received some key endorsements yesterday from former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg and NBA superstar LeBron James. One other note on a development we've been closely tracking, more than 65 million Americans have voted early. And be sure to join Eyewitness News this Monday at 2 p.m. for our Vote 2024 special as we break down the key races and discuss the impact the election will have in our area. Coming up next on Eyewitness News Mornings at 10, we're keeping a close eye on the growing wildfire in northern New Jersey. Dry and windy conditions sure to make it more difficult for firefighters. You're looking live uh, at that fire burning right now from News Copy 7. I'll have an update on the shifting wind direction and increasing wind speeds that we're facing this afternoon. And where else can you find zombies, princesses, wild animals, and marching bands all in the same place? Well, still ahead, we'll take you to the Greenwich Village Halloween Parade. Laura Gil